Hi, this is Matt with Inmate Search Info. Today we're going to take a look at how to find Idaho inmates. The Idaho Department of Corrections hosts an offender search which allows you to search for past and present inmates or people in the Department of Corrections system in some way. And you can search by either one of two ways. If you happen to have an Idaho Department of Corrections number or IDOC number, you're able to put that in the search and be taken directly to the results of the person you're looking for. If you don't happen to have that IDOC, you can search by name. You have to have at least a partial last name to begin a search. So you don't have to put the first name in or even a partial first name, but you do have to put at least the first three letters of a last name in in order to start a search. Obviously, the more information you put in that is accurate information, the better your results will be. So we're gonna try this search for Michael Smith and go to the search here. So when you scroll through, you, you see a, a couple of different things on this initial search page, the results page. You're gonna see a number of names here where there are people who match the name that was entered, but who have been discharged. And so as you see, you get that IDOC number, but there's no corresponding link. So you do get that information. You do find out that they were part of the system at one point, but if they're no longer current or active in the system, there's no further information provided. So you would be able to confirm that maybe someone had been convicted of some sort of crime, but you won't be able to take it any further than that. However, there are others who are part of the system. They may be under probation, they may be on parole, um, or they may be an inmate, and those people do have a clickable IDOC number. So with that IDOC number for someone who's in the system, you can potentially explore further information. That's how potentially you'd be able to send money or correspondence, or maybe for visitation purposes, you might need that number. So you're also given the middle name and age, which would hopefully help you to narrow it down if you're using a common name or perhaps one with a lot of results. Um, but if you click on that IDOC number, you're taken to an actual profile page. Now, some states give you a lot of information on their details page. Idaho is not one of them. Uh, you do get the location of the inmate with an address and phone number, which not every state does in terms of their inmates. So if you happen to know that this was the Michael Smith that you were looking for, you will have some basic idea of where they are or how to correspond with them in this case, it looks like, and then a phone number for the institution. You do also get a breakdown of the offenses, which obviously you don't get for someone who is no longer in the system. And you get some case numbers, which may be useful for further kind of exploration into the case if the description that's given is not clear enough for you, though it's pretty clear on Idaho. Some other states only give you some very basic abbreviations, and it's hard to really tell what the conviction was for, but at least they give you that. But no photos, no other physical description. So in the case of someone who might have the same name as someone else who's a similar age, you may not have enough to go on, but it's a good place to start, and you do get some contact info for the facility, which is maybe what you're looking for. That's about everything for the Idaho inmate search. Uh, for links to the different Idaho offender searches, step-by-step -step instructions, and further resources on Idaho crime and background checks, please visit the link in the description to be taken to our Idaho page. Thanks for watching.